to progress in one's path simply means that you have an expanded sense of ignorance. Once it happened, a man was trying to carry a grandfather clock from a truck to his house on his back, a huge one. A drunk came by and said, Hey, mister, you just take my advice, get yourself a wristwatch. If all you're looking for is dividing the day into twenty-four hours, all you need is a wristwatch. But uh, if that doesn't hold much meaning to you, if that process of dividing life into proper compartments and living doesn't mean much to you anymore, you want to know the timelessness of life, the boundless nature of what this is, then you need to be little bit set on fire, simply very nice logic or pretty emotions won't do it. They are nice. They organize your life. They make your life clean and acceptable. But uh, it doesn't magnify the possibility of moving from a limited state of ignorance to an unlimited state of ignorance. Today, modern scientists are coming to this point. All these years they believed, someday we will know what is the nature of the existence. Today, lot of top-level physicists are coming to this point. They are where they are beginning to talk in terms of we will never know we will just go on expanding the borders of our ignorance, but we will never know. This is what mysticism meant. This is what a mystic means, an utterly, utterly ignorant person. Everybody else is little bit ignorant, little bit knowledgeable. They know some things, they don't know some things. Someone who doesn't know anything, anything at all, who doesn't, who is not burdened by knowledge because knowledge is an accumulation. Someone who is simply not burdened by any kind of accumulation, he is a mystic because he's, he's chosen to be utterly, absolutely ignorant, not in parts. So, better to move from Moving from a wristwatch to a grandfather clock is not a comfortable thing, <laughs> not at all comfortable. If you're carrying a grandfather clock on your back, it may have great value but you can't even look at the time. You have to ask somebody, please look at the time and tell me what's the time. Aren't you slowly becoming like this these days? <laughs> How am I? <laughs> I? I hear a lot of people coming up to me and ask me, Sadhguru, how am I? <laughs> it's all right. Sensible people ask, how are you? Those who are becoming slowly moving towards larger dimensions of ignorance are beginning to ask Sadhguru, how am I? 